This is China's drone mothership, capable of carrying and launching 100 miniature drones, loitering munitions, and potentially kamikaze-type UAVs. The People's Liberation Army is preparing to deploy the Jutian SS UAV drone carrier for its inaugural mission by the end of June. The drone carrier possesses a maximum range of nearly 4,500 miles, an operational ceiling of 15,000 meters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 US tons and a wingspan measuring 25 meters. Jutian's primary combat function is enabling swarming tactics, the coordinated deployment of networked drones to saturate, deceive, or turn off adversary air defense systems. In the skies above us, a silent revolution is taking place. While the West builds aircraft carriers that sail the seas, China has created something far more terrifying unmanned mothership that flies. The Jutian drone mothership isn't just another military toy, it's about to rewrite the rules of modern warfare. With a 25 meter wingspan, 16 ton takeoff weight, and over 6 tons of payload capacity, this airborne drone carrier can launch hundreds of loitering munitions mid-air, creating instant swarm attacks from the stratosphere. No pilot, no mercy, no warning. China recently released a video that looks like a UAV mothership, and you can see a bunch of Shahed drones exiting, or things that look like Shahed drones. It's called the Jutian SS UAV, and it's also known as the High Sky or Nine Heavens, and it's a fifth generation high altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle. Developed by China's Aviation Industry Corporation of China, also known as AVIC. It was unveiled at the 15th Zhuhai Air Show in November of 2024, and it represents a significant advancement in China. China's military drone technology. It was actually designed specifically to rival and compete with US drones, like the RQ-4 Global Hawk and the MQ-9 Reaper. Its first test flight is actually scheduled for June of this year, 2025. Some key specifications about it are its weight, which is maximum takeoff weight of approximately 16 tons with a payload capacity of up to six tons. It's got a wingspan of 25 meters and a length of 16 meters. According to many sources, the operational ceiling for this thing is 15,000 meters elevation or 50,000 feet, which is above a lot of medium range air defense systems. Key thing to take away from this. It's got a range of around 7,000 to 7,500 kilometers, which is pretty comparable to strategic bombers. It can fly up to 36 hours with certain modules attached to it. It can also travel approximately 700 kilometers per hour or 434 miles per hour. It's propelled by a high thrust turbofan jet engine that's rear mounted for reduced thermal signature. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it's equipped with a heterogeneous honeycomb mission bay or a isomerism hive module, which allows rapid mission reconfiguration for roles like reconnaissance, strike, electronic warfare, or cargo transport. And apparently the bay can deploy over a hundred smaller drones for swarm operations. The Jiutian drone manufactured by the state-owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China represents a quantum leap in unmanned aerial technology. With a maximum range of 4,350 miles, a 15-kilometer ceiling, and the ability to exceed speeds of 435 miles per hour, this drone stands out for its unique ability to launch smaller drones mid-flight from both sides of its fuselage. Let that sink in. A massive drone with an 82-foot wingspan that can travel nearly halfway around the world, flying higher than Mount Everest, faster than a Formula One car, and its primary purpose is to release swarms of smaller attack drones. This isn't science fiction. This is China's reality in 2025. But its capabilities don't stop there. The weapon also features swarm launching and can arm itself with air-to-air anti-ship and air-to-ground missiles, as well as 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds guided bombs. The Jiutian isn't just a carrier, it's a flying arsenal. Its modular design allows it to be reconfigured in just two hours, transforming from a strike platform to a support craft, from an emergency rescue vehicle to an electric warfare command center. 
Its versatility extends to its potential use as a communication relay for the smaller drones it launches, enabling them to operate far beyond their usual capabilities. This means the smaller drones it launches aren't limited by their own range or communication capabilities. The mothership extends their reach exponentially, creating a networked swarm that can blanket an area hundreds of miles wide. While the Jiutian prepares for its inaugural flight next month, China's existing military technology is already proven its worth in real-world conflicts. The escalating conflict between India and Pakistan could be offering the world a first real glimpse into how advanced Chinese military technology performs against proven Western hardware. And Chinese defense stocks are already surging. The recent clashes between Pakistan and India have become an unexpected showcase for Chinese military technology. Pakistan, armed with Chinese-made fighter jets, missiles, and drones, has demonstrated the effectiveness of Beijing's weapons systems against Western hardware. Over the past five years, China has supplied 81% of Pakistan's imported weapons. According to data from the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, China has transformed Pakistan into a proving ground for its military exports. This makes any engagement between India and Pakistan a de facto test environment for Chinese military exports. The results speak for themselves. The most striking claim from four days of fighting earlier this month was Islamabad's contention. Its Chinese supplied jets had shot down six Indian aircrafts, including three French-made Rafale fighters, with some observers seeing this as a symbol of Beijing's rising military might. Pakistan's Chinese-made J-10C fighters reportedly outperformed some of the most advanced Western aircraft in the world. The French Rafale, considered one of Europe's premier fighter jets, found itself outmatched by Chinese technology. This was the first sustained fight where the bulk of Pakistan's forces used Chinese weapons and basically relied on them as their primary option. Now imagine the Jutian drone mothership entering this equation. In the future, even J-10Cs may not need to take off. One Jutian and the battlefield gets swept from above by drones. Beijing's long-standing support for Islamabad through hardware, training, and now increasingly AI-enabled targeting has quietly shifted the tactical balance, said Craig Singleton. This isn't just a bilateral clash anymore. It's a glimpse of how Chinese defense exports are reshaping regional deterrence. The Jutian represents the next evolution in this reshaping of global military power. It combines China's advances in drone technology, artificial intelligence, and systems integration into a single platform that can project power across vast distances without risking a single pilot. This progress is another indication of the People's Liberation Army's swift expansion of its military capabilities as they aim to usurp the U.S.'s position as a dominant power in the Asia-Pacific. Reports suggest that the Jiutian drone is slated for its inaugural test flight at the end of June. As the Jiutian prepares for its first flight, military planners worldwide are scrambling to understand it, its implications. How do you defend against a flying mothership that can launch hundreds of drones in coordinated swarm attacks? The traditional advantages of Western military technology, which are superior training, better electronics, more advanced materials, are being rapidly eroded by China's massive investments in the next generation systems. The Jiutian isn't just a new weapon. It's a paradigm shift. When the West builds aircraft carriers, China builds unmanned ones that can fly. When the West deploys fighter squadrons, China launches drone swarms. When the West relies on human pilots, China deploys AI. The Jutian drone mothership represents more than just China's growing technological prowess. It symbolizes a fundamental shift in how wars will be fought in the coming decades. 
unmanned, networked, swarming, relentless. As we witness Chinese military technology proving itself in conflicts like the Pakistan-India skirmish, we're getting a preview of tomorrow's battlefield, one where China is positioning itself to write the rules. The future of warfare isn't coming. With the Jutian, it has arrived. No pilot, no mercy, no warning. And the West is not ready. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for future updates. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.